Welcome back to another episode of Bunts and Rants. You know what time it is. I don't even know. I, I don't have to talk too much. Let me just quickly go ahead to introduction. I'm your truly Ajwa Adi, baby girl. And I'm Dolly. Hi. Well, Hi. anytime she mentions her name, you you flinch. Because I, I don't get it. What's the name again, please? Dolly. No, you said something at first. Young said, Dolly. No, just Dolly. Just Dolly. I heard Lamb like, Dolly or something like that. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Hey, stand. That's my name, so she has already mentioned my name, guys. What are we talking about today? Does your partner's body count matter in a relationship? This this topic is next to my right heart. The right one. Because mm. it's something that has been running around on social media for so long. People have said their pieces on it. I don't think up to now we have a clear understanding. So today I have two perspectives and I want to see how how much we can floor this situation. Does your partner's body count matter in a relationship? For me, it does. It does? It does. I have to know what you have been doing yeah. before I met you. It, it really counts. What do you mean what I've been doing? I've been fishing. Mm, the things you have been doing, the person. Sexually? Yes, yeah, sexually. Okay. I have to know. You know some guys, when you hear their body counts, it's just not encouraging. So what's I'd, what's the body count of a person you've had that made your heart go bam? I think 30. Wow. Yes. 300. 30. 30. 30. 30. Three zero. And I think out of the 35 were like just serious. Ah. So wow. with such a person, I have to know. And I have to know my position and my stand in. So what life. do you do when you meet a new person? That it's it's one of the questions I, that you ask them. I wouldn't really ask you directly because as as a human being, I think you yeah. can lie. The person mm-hmm. can lie to you, or maybe my body count is three. Mm-hmm. So I don't think I will ask you directly. Then I have, how would you find out? I have ways and means to you know get to know and finally maybe make a decision for yes. yourself. I'll come back to that, Scanty. Does your partner's body count matter in a relationship? Yeah. Guys, before we started this episode, Scanty said I shouldn't ask him any questions because he's the youth president in his church. church. I, I don't do much of relationships. You don't do girls? Is that, you don't I, do girls? I do girls. You do girls? Yeah. And there, let me answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, it matters. To me, dear, it matters. Why? Because, sorry, you can't be sleeping around with people and then... Mm-hmm. I'll meet you. you have, we have some ladies that will be like, my past doesn't matter, bro. Your past matters a lot to me. Me, they won't hear me past. So even if I meet a lady now, even without her knowledge, I try to reach some of her friends, communicate with okay. her friends. So no much You about investigate your Yeah, I do a lot past. of investigation because... Would you be happy if somebody investigated your past? Yeah, because my okay past is that. very, very good. Your past very, is good. Very, very good. Flawless. Have a good record. See. So, to me... <laughs> Scholarship worthy. <laughs> if you start talking to me and you start looking at my past, Charlie, at that moment, I've, I've passed already. <laughs> but me, so me, the way my past is good, I kept my past clean. Mm-hmm. I expect my partner's past to be clean. Okay. Bro, you can't have about numerous, I don't want to mention a number, but numerous. Then you expect, no, 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 no. I just feel like, nah, that's not right. Especially as a lady. Okay. Sometimes, as guys, people don't see it to be a problem. I have so. a friend. Who has a body? Do you agree with him that it's not a problem for a guy's body count to be high? It is. As comp- it's not a problem. It is a problem. It's a problem. Yes. Why? Because, you know, guys, guys always look somewhere. When mm-hmm. What I mean is they easily get into sexual things with people. They do like, whatever they like. Exactly. And then they are not held responsible for it. So for a guy, but what I think is, um, knowing your partner's body count really matters. Okay. It matters. But it doesn't mean you should see the person and just ask the person, what's your body count? You know, okay. people do that a lot. Mm. And I don't find that very attractive. So how do you find out? I was gonna to come to hell on that. I told I will, I'll ask you that question. I'm all the thinking. investigative <laughs> details and everything. So that you tell people because Uniciai the we, we need the according to Google, the highest 
body count for a person that should be acceptable in a relationship. For men, it's five. For ladies, it's three. So good. <laughs> Do you agree with that? So it means that for men, it's not really a problem. Even if Google is telling you three, if ladies, I was expecting Google to tell you that five for men, five for women, because we are all equal. <laughs> but Google understands your bear my So I have a friend whose body count is 500 plus. Why? I have a friend. Last time we were having a conversation. And then Why? He told what you, is he looking for in life? He said, for him, him, he has a problem. He said he's addicted to women. Every day, he, he has sex with about three different girls in a day. He's addicted to... He was telling me on Snapchat the last time. He has a body count about 500 and counting. And if he's watching me, he'll be in the comments and he'll attest to that. I'll do it, bro. But, he, for, <laughs> because wow. what he is saying, he said mm-hmm. it's not his fault. He's just addicted to... And he has money. It's his nature. And That's in Ghana, if you have money, you get anything that you want. Okay. So he gets anything at ease. A, a day, he said three different women. So if a day times 30 days is what? Is he aware those have like sexual, uh, like health implications? Like why? I don't know. I see on one day, um, Kaboom has this song. I say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I told him that's the song he sent to me, that's what Kaboom said. So he sent me that song that I should listen to it. I see. He said he's addicted. He wants to stop, but mm-hmm. he can't stop. Mm-hmm. He doesn't drink alcohol. Yeah. So he has about 500 body counts. So Google put the Google T up and the Obama Memo now for 10. Or the idea of 50. But you see, everywhere you go, yeah. people feel like for guys, it is normal. I'm not the one, only one saying. If, if a guy meets a lady and the lady sees my body count is five, mm-hmm. then the guy gets mad. What number is acceptable to you? As a lady, two. Two? two. Yeah, two. Why? You, so won't, ex- you won't go out with a person whose body count exceeds two. Yeah, it, 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 it's, a, it's a problem for me. More than two is a problem for me. The two is me and your ex. <laughs> <laughs> The, the, the two I'm talking about is me and your ex. <laughs> and you know, Obi two, me and your three. <laughs> what are we, what are me, me, yeah. So your ex and Scanty two. That's all. What number is acceptable to you from the guy? Mm-hmm. From a guy, I think five is okay. Hey! Shush. Five is five. Five is okay. <laughs> five is okay. You wouldn't date a person whose body count exceeds five. And now you can tweak some way with it for it to for it to work. I think so. You can I think I, I can. Uh, but they're 500. Nick, I'll be my two that'll be 500. They mean to me. <laughs> 500 is an old way, bro. Nah, I mean to me. Mean to me. Mean to me. Mean to but me. in certain instances, you can. Yes, I can manage. Okay. Wow. That makes sense. Five. Five. But scans, when you saw a dog, you dog. Yeah. What oh. if what what if you fa- you, you you fall in love with a bad bitch? See, we have bad bitches body count at two. And mom. Yeah. Like me. What? No. Your, your body count is two. <laughs> one and half. Ah. The two, <laughs> the two is your past or one and the carrot. <laughs> the half is the current. <laughs> the half is the carrot. We are still exploring. Oh, okay. So I want I'm to ask single, you. What, you are single. Yes. An advertising ajoa. <laughs> The body I'm count single. is one and a half. One and a half. Single. I'm single, yes. Do you guys believe what she's saying? Yeah, we have to believe. Why won't you? Yeah. But why did you say it? Why did I say what? Why did you tell us your body count? I'm 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 flooring the issue. Uh, okay, I have a problem. Women don't like telling people about their body counts. Because they feel like the past has to be the past. Yeah. If somebody meets you today, mm-hmm. they're trying to start a new life with you. They feel like whatever they did in the past is has to be past. shelved somewhere. It's past. They are starting a future with you. Currently, you are the one who matters. What they are building with you is what matters. In your yeah, yeah, well, if it's just sit be be so on top of a mango tree, it doesn't matter. I, I, on a kitchen stool, it doesn't matter. And you know, men, men are some way that when they find out your body count, mm-hmm. they just draw back. Okay. They now want to know you. Mm-hmm. They want to know, okay, Adwa, okay. 
10 body count. I want to know you. Do I want to be with this person? Men don't have that kind of heart Mm -hmm. to listen to their partners for their body count. So I don't think it's really important for me to tell you my body count. The reason why um, you are saying, Andrea is saying the past is perhaps you see you know you have where you have worked for the period you work for if we want to confirm supervisor's number is there I need to know about your past Mm -hmm. those who have been there before Mm -hmm. I need to know oh I dated this guy for one year imagine you have been dating you dated five different guys for 20 years Uh and you come and meet me Nipa Bakubia in your five years. Nipa Bakwa in your five years. And you come and meet me in this country. And then her pre- uh, presidency Your run. past is your past. Nah, <laughs> see, we have done stories on y'all of the day. People mm-hmm. have left and they have gone back to their ex because Charlie, body counts. Ebi wa wa, some counting. It means so when you are, you can go back. To me, you know, I can do two. Or ex, you are Bakwa. I can go and face your ex. Mm-hmm. But if they are five, how do I go and face five people? But why, why are you going to face the people in their past? No, to me, uh, it, it matters a lot to me that I'm in a For relationship. For what? So what? What do you want to do with it? What do I want to do with it? If I tell you, okay, I have like five body counts, what are you going to do with what it? What do I want to do with it? <laughs> when was the last time you visited KFC? <laughs> mm-hmm. Because oh a lot of God. people enter KFC. It doesn't matter. Scanty. Because of why you're come on, you have special places. If a guy asks so, you, I'm okay. coming, I'm coming. Mm-hmm. I do already want to go on a date. If I ask you now, you mentioned a very special five place. Five star restaurant. Good. Somewhere neat. Then my girlfriend, place. you have body count like five. Okay, so what if I tell you two? You lie to me, that is two. Yes. I have the machine to detect. What you machine? can't. I can't detect. No, you can't. Okay, Trust that's me. why I mean my. You can't. You, people, you know what? people can lie. <laughs> People can oh, lie. Oh, That's what I wanted to ask okay, you. So you tell how us your do technique. you know that your partner is lying to you about your body count? She's a nurse anyway, so... Okay. Well, mm-hmm. I'm going to know. I'm going to know based on, one, maybe where I met the person. It doesn't mm-hmm. really count, but it does. Where you met the person. Where I met the person. Okay. If, let's say, I met the person um, at the club. Okay. It doesn't matter, but it does. So from there... Tell me more. <laughs> from there, I met more. you at the club. Mm-hmm. We started talking and all of that. And now we are in a relationship. And We'll raise some questions for you. Yes. And all of a sudden, you know, there are some guys, the moment they meet you at the club, I like you. I want to be with you. Mm-hmm. You are my mother. You are my everything. Yes. So with such a man, it's just a question mark for me. I just have to calm down, relax, study you and get to know you more. And from there, you know, I'm going to know that I I know it's more than five. Trust me. There are some guys you meet at the club. It's more than five. And the thing is, let's say... So basically, the men in the club, their mm -hmm. body counts are high. Oh, Yes. Uh, uh, I, I, I believe... I believe if you go Absolute to the club, you go to, you've been, you've been going I, to the club. I believe, I believe going to the club. I believe as a guy or okay. as a lady, if you go to the club, you go there to have fun. All right. Okay. We don't go there to look Explain for explain fun. To dance. You ah. went there to dance, drink, drink you know, experience <laughs> other things, like. you know. I'll tell you. All right. You get mm-hmm. it. So if I meet a guy and all of a sudden you're telling me you like me, maybe it's just because of how I look or how you met me how at the club. Grinding, you know, how you were dancing. Actually, I um I went to a club some time ago. Okay. Where? Which club? In Accra. Um, in Accra. I'm not going to tell you the okay. exact place. Okay. And I met a particular man. Okay. Actually, I don't like Nigerians and not Ness. Uh, not for any reason. Maybe that's a reason, though. Nobody attacks you. That's yes. Funny. So the person looked like a not a not a Nigerian. So okay. the person came to me. I'm a, actually a good dancer in a way. So the person Ooh, came to me and was like, "Handing out this weekend, anyways." Mm, yeah. <laughs> so the person was like, "I like you and all of that." And the person was just closer to me the whole night. Offered to buy me whatever I wanted okay. for my friends. I went with my friends. Mm-hmm. So he did everything. He paid everything. What? And all of a sudden, the person was like, I like, I want to be in a relationship with you. I see. And what I was, was like, your answer? I was like, I want to get to know you more. Mm. I met you at the club. Probably you came to me because of how I was dressing, okay. how I was dancing. Mm-hmm. You get it. So I just wanted to know the person more. And luckily enough, 
the next weekend, I went out again and I saw the same person Ish. with a different girl. Ish. And if I tell you the money the person spent on me that night, the person met me. Trust Akra. me. Akra. Akra. He was willing to buy everything for me. So that's why I'm saying if I meet you at the club, I really have to know your body count. I see. Scanty. Uh, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what she's saying is... Scanty, you go to the club. A Do you lot. agree to the fact that people who go to the I've club... I've met you in the club before. I've met you in the club, but none of you saw me. You met me special. in the club? Yeah. What club? Oh, you're asking me? Should I show you who you were with? I told you I met you in the club before. Yes, yeah. you told me. Yeah. Me, 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 come, me, be, uh, hey, but, but you don't I, see me. Inspector McQueen. Are you sure I was the one? <laughs> it's you. It's me. Uh, it's her. <laughs> you, I know who you went with. Um, um, oh, good. yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I don't know her friend, so I can't... Tell okay. Who she was with. Yeah. I see everyone. So me, I go there a lot. Me, so assuming me, you meet me in the club, then the assumption is that mm-hmm. I have more than five body counts. That's bad. That's like hasty generalization because you feel like I met because one one bad meet means everyone is maybe today is my first time. We have people that oh, and then they're my first time. Mm-hmm. People are saying clap, clap. Let me also go and see the same yeah. thing. But I understand her in the way. For you, a guy meeting a lady in the club and telling her, say, I want to date you. It's upset. Mm. You don't meet me one. What if she goes to wash her makeup and she looks like me? Common sense. Eh, no, coffee, no, coffee, if she's walking on the streets with makeup, it's the same thing. What's, no, what's, at what's night the difference? It's different. Okay. At night is different. People wear dirty clothes to the club at night because you can't see whether it's clean or not. <laughs> yes, but daytime, you will not wear dirty clothes outside. Okay. So makeup, whether it's foul and foul, when you're blue light, bitch, you are good, you are to, good go. to go. So you so, think there's a question mark yes. when you propose to somebody at a at night club. club. Because you don't know who this person is. Even if you you mean you have a genuine intention, I mm-hmm. think you should wait for a moment before you propose. You don't meet me at the club and just say... The, the fact that right there and there, they're like, they like you, they want to go out with you. That's where your problem is. The problem is, yes. So um, uh, for her, if you want to meet her, a church, watch a joint, the hospital. Hospital, they say That's not what I'm saying. But I'm giving an example. So where do I meet you that you can't tell my body can Hospital. <laughs> oh, school. Is it hospital like... Because literally, they Are there tests? Which is that hospital? So, where do you think... You Actually, can you can you can notice if a guy really has sex a lot. What? Hey. Their genitals? No. So, when I'm with you, uh-huh. I get to know the size of your... Genitals. Yes. Okay. And hey, maybe for like three months, three months, and now their size has reduced. It okay. tells me a lot. And for the semen, too, okay. it tells. The men might be with her most spent and it's very light. And it's, it's very light. Light. When it's light, they that means what? They've been wow. Yeah, they've been over. <laughs> they have over sex exercising. A lot. Yes. <laughs> Nah, I this see. is interesting though. But what if they have sex a lot, but they're having the sex a lot with one person? That doesn't mean their body count is high. It's it there. You see? It doesn't mean wow. the body count is high. Wait, 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 wait. So, why are you so excited? Wait, wait. wait. Uh, uh. Mm-hmm. If your semen is light, it means you have sex a lot. Yes. Wow. Wow. Scanty, All is, it, is it hitting home? <laughs> Should we be concerned? Nah, nah. Oh, no. She's making some point that I'm meeting for now. Everything that hey, Obama a tie no, no. like a tie no. That means like it has packed. You you haven't been having sex regularly. Yes. Okay. The sperms is really thick. It's thick. Like yes. pampa. No. Uh, okay. Okay. It's very it's thick. Like for a bougie child. It's very thick. Kind of thick. Uh, um, I want to ask something. <laughs> When you have sex, mm-hmm. what do you do with the sperms? Ah, who could so much? I'm just asking. Sperms are. Yeah, yeah but like, when you have sex, the sperms come out. You guys like to. And when put it something everywhere, is like, you, you, you notice it. Hey. You guys like to put it everywhere, no? Please, please. Don't, no, 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 no. I'm I, I can't asking you. That. You are you are representing the nobody here. Yeah, and, and me, I'm speaking for my part because. People have sex after sex, they are tired, they are that. Who they have in a way, if you do questions, I mean, I will. I thought that I will. But people mostly do this with light off. I mean, I will go to touch the whole, you will make a color whether it's big or light. So I don't have to <laughs> oh my only God. like to check or okay. something. As I just said, yeah. you guys always like to put it everywhere. Especially, I mean, your, if you come in where here. Where are some of the places? 
on the what? thigh, on the thighs, on the breast, on the face, on the face. Mm. Mm. Hey! <laughs> They are spoiling me, father. They are spoiling me. This went PG-18 very, very quickly. But no, it's very easy to tell. Because even if you come in here, there are residues. Yeah. If you're going to wash up, if you're going to shower, you, are, you touch it. You feel whether it's no, right but or if it's looking, safe. Looking up from where she's coming from, mm-hmm. it means that this is like um, something she wants to know. Mm-hmm. So it means that wherever you, the guy, want to hide the semen, she would want to see it. Why would you, so, why would you hide the semen, sir? Oh, maybe I'm using a condom after okay. I'm going to throw it away. Or because right. you're too old to be bossed, she wants to conduct the survey first. That's what she's trying to say. Oh my god! Because looking at her, she's coming from different angles. Yeah. To be able to dictate if someone has more body count or yeah. not. Yeah. Club experience, mm-hmm. and then after club, even after sex, she can tell. So assuming after sex, this is the situation. Would you tell the person that oh, I feel like you're having sex a lot? Would you tell the person? I wouldn't tell the person. I'll just have you my. You leave? I have my. Or you plan. deal with it. What's, what's your plan? Five, you consider five. Mm-hmm. Nothing about five. If you feel like this person, according to his semen, is, <laughs> is lighter than wow. five people. I think, in the, I think I'm going to confront you mm-hmm. in a way, ask you if you are having sex frequently outside with other people. Obeka. Uncle. You won't tell me the truth. <laughs> Would but... you tell the truth? Yeah. You I never lie. Hey. Because me, when I lie, you catch me. <laughs> me, they're simple. You don't know how I don't to lie. Know, I don't know how to. That's why I can't date two men at the same time. Okay. Me, I'll bet you me. But I don't know how to be quite. texting this person. I'll come to you. I have to change how I've saved this person's right. number. I feel like it's a whole lot of work. Mm. So if I don't like you, I leave you. Then I go to the new person. And you me, know, me, me, one thing back. about me too, I don't know. It's, it's going to be strange, but I am one particular person when you're lying. I just have a feeling you're lying to me. Wow. Okay. Yes. Your like intuition is on point. The moment I meet a guy and the guy is lying, I just know. Okay. So I met this person. I know I'm saying a whole lot of things, but I met this person. We like it. And everything the person was saying, I just had the feeling the person was lying. lying. So we got along. We talked a lot. And anytime he talks, he'll be like, Dolly, you're always telling me I'm lying. I'm, and I'm like, that's what I feel. I okay. know you are lying. So mm-hmm. one time I was talking to him. I was like, you know what? You're just a smart person. I know you know I'm lying, but what your family say, how I? Ish. I, I just have, have a to, feeling. I have to come to you for detec- detection. I really know, have the feeling if someone is lying to me. Mm-hmm. I just have a feeling. I'm just going to know that. Mm. Um, one, thing, one thing I will be concerned about is you have given the ladies advice on how to detect. Can you <laughs> give it to the men how to, since you're a nurse, can you give us... I don't think see? there's any way for a, a man she, to... Is there a way for a man to detect if... She's having too much sex. Mm, for a lady. Open yeah. gateways. Yeah, or she has plenty body counts. Is there a way for us to do For the it? open gateway, <laughs> that one, you can't really tell. Open because you know the, the Bible or the... Oh, open um, <laughs> The size of... Um, you know, men would be like, oh, this particular girl on a CAB, sorry to say. The size of the gateway is wide. wide it enough. really doesn't count. You know, there are some ladies that naturally, they have open gates. Naturally, yes. People naturally have open. Wow. They are virgins, and naturally they have it. <laughs> Scanty is so silly. <laughs> I can't. I'm telling you, this is the wow. first time I've. You know, SHS. Like this. There was this particular girl at my dorm. Yeah. You have lots of experience, girl. I love it. Um, Let's go. Oh no! When you see the <laughs> genital, yeah. You're just going to be surprised. It's wide. Mm. Hmm. Even the surface can can we add more? I'm telling you. Yeah. I think, um, and Adra, this person has never has had sex. Um, Adra, and it's has got to me. I have to leave for you, Bruce. Sat. <laughs> Sat. Uh-huh. So it doesn't really tell for the girls. Mm-hmm. You can't really tell. You know, infections also mm-hmm. cause that. So okay. people her, she's not having sex, but or infections and it caused that too. So I you see. can't really tell for the females. I don't think you can tell. You can yeah, tell by their way. behaviors, how okay. maybe frequently texting and then or her, you know, or her seeing with different guys, this is my okay. friend, always this is my friend, this is my friend. You can, you know, mm-hmm. suspect Good, something. Is it okay. interesting? I want to go ahead. 
Same way you meet a guy at the club and yeah. you have this perception. Does it mean when I also meet a lady in the club frequently or several times, can I have this agenda for the lady as well? You know, there are some ladies, yes, in a way. There are some ladies... But it's well, not 100%. It's not 100%. Okay. Some ladies, when they go to the club and they meet this person and they think like, I like you. They just come to you. I'm not saying it's wrong. You can like the person and go to the person I like you. But some ladies, they are just easy going. Mm-hmm. If you want to have sex with them today, today, nah, at the club. Yeah, okay. At the club. At the club. It happens. It happens. Where? Oh, baby, I gonna be a... In the club. Mm. I think there are some clubs I've not visited yet in Ghana, bro. It happens. So clubs, such boom, boom, such boom, boom, boom. a lady, even at the club, she's willing to have sex with you. So you that should, should tell you that, yeah, question mark. Have you, have you uh, seen some before? I haven't seen some before, but I've heard of it. The wow. notion that is there, it, it actually exists. Scanty, we are learning a lot today. Yeah, we are learning a lot. But me, they are still stand on my point. Mm-hmm. Body count, two. Me and your ex. That is it. If you is date, that is realistic it, enough for you? Yes, it is. You can date one guy for five years. You okay. left him and you met Scanty. So body count, they too. Simple. <laughs> In five years, you don't need to have about five partners. Mm-hmm. That's why girls keep quitting their relationship. I don't like it. So you ask this girl, you meet this girl, oh, I'm in a relationship. You think they like to just up and quit relationships? Yes. Maybe it's like... Because now the girls are materialistic. Okay. They are after... What women after what they see. Okay. What they see and what they hear. Don't generalize it. Not everybody does. Women are after what they see. <laughs> I'll repeat it. Women are after what they see. It's not wrong. It's not wrong to go after what you have uh-huh. seen. I didn't mention money or anything. Okay. But what the eye sees convince everyone a lot. Because yeah. I can't see something and later someone will come and tell me something I'll think otherwise. No. Women are after what they have seen. So you are in a relationship with someone and then there is a problem. Mm-hmm. You can solve it. But then women, it's very surprising that as you have about five guys in your DM who want you, right? Yes. It gives women a lot of options. Mm-hmm. You have about 50. You also have about 50. Who they have about five. So like it gives women a lot of options. So if you're a guy and you're dating a particular lady yeah, and then she has about 50 other guys in a DM, the little mistake you do, she will leave. She's going to hop on to the next because, one. Because and when she goes to the next one, you're going to continue. So me... To stay with one guy for five years and you leave and you miss country. Are you two? Two no, no, no. But in that five years, no, you are one. Five years you date one person after you come and meet me. Then that five years you have five different partners. Okay, <laughs> and you what mean? shows me I'm here the seat person, I will stay. Mm-hmm. It means I'm only adding up to your number. That's why some women are more titty numbers, no so. Yeah. If it is 10, no much, you two, five. One and a half by now is three. <laughs> one and a half by now is three. Now we change. No! It's one and a half. Me. Personally, I feel like this is a wide this is a wide conversation. We can sit here and then say everything, but at the end of the day, it's what works for you and what works for the other person. Scanty, I feel like you're going to fall in love with somebody, like heads over heels in love with somebody whose body count is like 35. When it gets there, I'll come and question yeah. you and it will pick will pick this up. It always turns out like that. I don't know why. Because me, the, even my type of person, yeah. there was a time that me. When I describe my kind of girl, people tell me that you will surely get someone that will not be your kind of girl and you fall it in love with person. It is what it is. Past years, I will meet someone who is not like my kind of person and it continues. It I'm continues. a breast guy. I will meet someone who doesn't have breasts. Oh, you're a breast yes. guy. I will meet someone who doesn't have breasts. <laughs> oh, I only meet people our, who are Our future ass. is very bleak right now. Tisana media have so if you are saying this, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe right. I will come and meet someone whose body count is like 50. But media, I still stick to the two. If it's 50, I'll just add up. Mm. If it is 50, I'll add up to the... You I'll, are 51. My 51. No, I'll okay. pay 52. <laughs> please, don't take Guys. me. Alone, please. <laughs> it's just camera, please. But two, maybe a maximum two. We're gonna so you go- can text me if it is two. Eish. If it is two, you can text me. Flat his DMs. We're definitely going to come back to this topic because I feel like we haven't dissected it to my satisfaction. There's a lot of other areas that we need to talk about. There will be a part two to this witness Dolly yes yes and she will tell us how to detect and you Inject know and you know and the lightness and the thickness and air some or the or the next time bring organs and teeth <laughs> leave your experiences in the comment section let us know what you think about you know the topic in general 
you think is important to know your partner's mm. body count? Is there a number that you would not exceed? Is there a number that you would not consider? Let us know in the comment section. We'll discuss it all over there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We, we are, are out. out.